Johannesburg resident Shalene Pillay bought her first home in June 2022 as South Africa's aggressive rate tightening cycle took hold amid upward inflation. The repo rate has climbed a further 3.5% and is costing Pillay at least 11.75% to service her bond. When I first got this place, I wasn't very clued up on all the expenses. Um, I didn't know what was happening with the repo rate as well. And then it just kept on increasing from then until now. Like just last week, um, I received another letter stating that my installment is going to be higher. Higher food and energy costs are also weighing heavily on consumers' pockets. Pillay admits it's a battle to make ends meet on one salary. I've changed my job uh, twice in the last six months. <laughs> And uh, thankfully now it's um, a job that allows me to have free time so that I can now do a side bit a business so that I can make more money in order to cope with this. Rising interest rates have put the brakes on robust growth enjoyed by South African property markets during the COVID-19 pandemic. Demand for credit is actually falling. Lending standards are also tightening, meaning that it's getting a bit more difficult for consumers to get more credit. But those that did enter into the market, especially in the property market in 2020, um, for the first time are now starting to default um, on, um, on, their, on their credit. Inflation eased slightly in May, but the pain is not over yet. With the credit market starting to show cracks, um, it looks like um, consumers are in for um, a, a more tougher times, um, tougher times ahead, especially with, with, with inflation being this stubbornly high. It, it looks like the Reserve Bank will keep interest rates high um, for, for, for a long time. The Reserve Bank expects inflation to remain anchored above 5% for the next two years. While it is within the bank's target range of 3 and 6%, consumers will have to dig deep to keep up with petrol and food prices and added costs from load shedding. Chilishara Sijtian, Cape Town, South Africa.